Now, before we go, last week we told you the story of Jonathan Constable, an alleged career con man. Wanted by police who spoke to some of his victims and heard about the range of alleged scams he was involved in, all of which he denied. Then, on Monday this week, came this bit of news. Constable had been identified by one of our viewers, who immediately alerted the police. Here's Derek with the update. Last Sunday, we introduced you to Jonathan Constable, a man of many faces, parental reformer, asylum consultant, pilot. I can't see it. How can you fly a plane if you're not a pilot? An apparent serial scammer, its alleged constable had many victims. Today he's the pilot, tomorrow he's a home affairs official, then he's in special training forces with the cops, he's CI. And when not fighting in distant lands, he claimed to be an immigration agent of sorts, guaranteeing visas to refugees. When masquerading as a rental property slash law enforcer, Constable allegedly demanded fees for protecting tenants from fake landlords. The purpose of just coming and cutting electricity. He is one of the best hijacker of a hijacked building in South Africa. Some of his victims told us Jonathan Constable is nothing more than a serial con man who's evaded justice for too long. When he responded to us last week, Constable denied all of these allegations. And the other thing that he was so well protected. Whoever I contacted in my network with this, everybody knew about Jonathan. But all that changed after our broadcast when police tracked down the elusive constable to a Johannesburg guest house. They'd been tipped off by a resident who'd watched our story and slung over a chair, remnant of his <clears throat> many talents. The guest house was a short drive from Constable's pseudo office, the SAA Museum, where this alleged pilot took these phony pictures. You were supposed to comply, yeah, yeah. yeah? Confronted by the long arm of the law, Constable hightailed it back into the guest house and called his lawyer. I said, I want to understand. Is there then things took a bizarre turn. Constable headed into the roof. The police had no choice but to head into the roof themselves to foil Constable's planned escape. Then, a moment of drama. As the ceiling gave way, bringing Constable crashing back to earth. Yo. Yo. There was a warrant issued. It's expiring in 2027. Constable was arrested for failing to appear in court on a charge relating to pointing a firearm. Constable's lawyers say no warrant of arrest was provided by police. One of Constable's alleged victims just couldn't hide her relief. For now, Constable has a new B&B in the form of Johannesburg's Sun City Prison. At least he will feel the pain I felt the time I was arrested because of him. So I'm very happy. Normosa Nenela once worked for Constable. She claims he orchestrated her arrest on a trumped up charge after daring to demand her salary, spending a week in prison for her troubles. Constable denies his involvement in her arrest. Seven days for something that I did not do it. Shame, okay. Jonathan and his crew, they need to pay. They need to pay big time. While his alleged victims wondered about his whereabouts, Constable would post blurry images like these on his WhatsApp status, having fun in the pool at the very guest house where he made his last stand. I wish that was his last time for him swimming. He did so many things that it's awful to people. Constable will be back in court early next week. Do you know, Mac, what I appreciate is that our viewers are our eyes and ears out there on the ground. And we like to see people get caught. Absolutely. Thanks for watching. 
Why not drop us a comment below? We love reading your opinions. Remember, you can now access carte blanche stories anytime, anywhere, even offline. Carte Blanche, the podcast, is now available on all major podcast platforms. So be sure to hit that follow or subscribe button and be part of our growing online family.